Hello guys, Flying Gucci here and welcome back to part 3 in the EU4 Emperor DLC in patch 1.30. So, we just got Hungary from our last war. And I think we will get an event soon that he is going to integrate Croatia. And yeah, then we are going to focus on Venice here. Uh, preferably we want to own all of this so we can get a lot of trade power in the Venice node. Which is a very rich node of course, it's an end node. Uh, we have a free advisor slot. Let's have a look. Uh, well, do we have any production? Not really. Of course, we also have some uh, less production because of the monopolies we give away right now. Maybe we should just go for minus two unrest for a while. Nah, it's, it's only in Triest. Let's get the production. He's paying for himself a little bit. I think that's better. We have 7 out of 5 relations. Croatia will go away soon. <clears throat> but yeah, we cannot do anything else about the other ones. Um, but when we take the diplomatic ideas, we can get an extra relation anyway. We are a great power. Let's have a look at the great powers. There we are. And there you see something new. The hegemons. So let's have a look what the hegemons are. Uh, you can become an economic hegemon when you have an income of a thousand. And then we get minus 0.1 monthly war exhaustion, foreign spy detection and mercenary manpower. Over time as power grows we gain goods produced, mercenary discipline and minimum autonomy in territories minus 20%. At maximum power gains we get extra governing capacity. And naval hegemon is there as well. We need 250 heavy ships. That's not going to happen for us in a very long time. Nice bonuses here. And military. And what do we need for here? An army of 1 million men. 1 million men. Holy shit. So we are on the 6th position right now. Behind England. It's all great. And there we go. This is the integration of uh, Croatia into Hungary. And that's totally fine, because then we have one uh, less relation slot that we need to fill. Now I think we can go to war with uh, Venice right away. Our guess of expansion is pretty low. Uh, let's make sure we are improving with our new vessel. You can stop doing this. Yeah, we have a couple of claims here as well. On Ragusa and Spalato and Zara. But I think I'm going to take this land over here. I still want to tech up, but I prefer to wait until I have the institution. Now, on the other hand, it's only 9%. Maybe we should just take the next one. I think I'm going to take this one and then we go for the institution. Uh, th which means we can take two slots, uh, two ideas uh, from the diplomatic uh, idea group. I will go for this one since this is lower impact on uh, stability from diplomatic actions. Um, at some point, when the reformation starts, we might uh, attack those uh, centers and we might have to do a no-CB war. And with this, the stability hit is lower. That's the main reason I go for this one. You can also go for influence as Austria, so you can uh, annex uh, Hungary quicker, for example. And unjustified demand is good as well. But I'm going to go for diplomatic. We have an extra diplomat and we have an extra Relation slot. There we go. So. Let's uh, make you to 100 improved relations. Yeah, everyone likes me because I came to the defense for the empire. Uh, at the moment we have 24 provinces in the, in the empire under control of non-member states. And that's uh, really hurting us. I think we still had Provence that wanted to join. Yes, so... Maybe when I... Oh, you're at war with Burgundy. Then I'm not going to ally you because I don't want to help you. If that makes any sense to you guys. <laughs> okay. I think it's time to uh, go to... This guy here. Let's attack them with both armies. Cardinal Minister. The clergy gains influence. No, we don't need it. 
Uh, we are really close, by the way. The burgers are almost at 70%. Next month we can complete our mission. Oh, we can do it now, actually. Balance the estates. So all the loyalties are 70 or higher. And we gain 5 crown landship and they get a higher equilibrium. So there we go. Now we can do Austria proper. We need um, 180 development in Austrian culture provinces with a manufactory. So that's going to be uh, upgrading Austria itself. And so now the estates are of course really happy. When we kill the rebel we can seize land again. Let's kill him. Then we're going to get our military point. Kill the rebels and then we're going to prepare for Venice. There we go. Now. There we go. We will seize the land because they are super happy. So we can do this. Now we have 45. That's a lot actually. Uh, I'm going to remove the monopoly on glass. It will lower the loyalty with 20. That's just fine. Um, we cannot remove the monopoly because you your loyalty needs to be higher than their influence. Otherwise you cannot click this button. So we don't have a spot to get uh, our point to the nobility right now. We need to wait until this is higher than 70. But that is fine. Why are we losing so much money? I don't know. Let's wait a bit with uh, war. Let's uh, try to get our economy up and running again. But this is ridiculous, right? Oh yeah, we have the papal influence now to take the burger. I mean the clergy bonus here. The papal emissary. And I think I will pick this one. There we go. So we get extra... Uh, a yearly papal influence. The burgers had the, the equilibrium, the diplomat advisor cost bonus. The... Oh yeah, the loan that we still need to repay. Then this will go away. The free enterprise and of course we want the diplo power. I could start with the diplo power here. Oh! The emperor is dead. And we have a new emperor, we get ten, 10 imperial authority and we have a new crowned emperor right now. Okay, that's very nice. Um, maybe we should just start with this one. So I'm going to spend 10 crown land. To get this monarch point. Now my new king here is 332. Not, not the best, right? And I think I'm going to focus on Diplo power. And yeah, let, let's just start with the, the diplomatic power then. Since we cannot do it to the, no, to the nobility right now. So, there we go. We now have an extra Diplo power all the time. We can also get an extra one with enough power projection, of course. Which might help. Oh! Yeah, we lose Hungary now. Are we going to break the truce to take Hungary again? Or do we wait 10 years? Do I have 10 years until it's gone, the CB? Okay, we are going to wait 10 years and we are going to go after Hungary again. It's unbelievable what happens when I record. All the things always go wrong. The Shadow Kingdom is now... Uh, Becoming an Imperial Incident. This is our first Imperial Incident. You get a fancy screen. And you get a pop-up. It's an uh, Imperial Incident happening and you need to vote. So... We must reign in the, in the Italians. I will pick this one. We will try to keep Italy under our control. 25 of the princes are with me. 24 and 51 are against. We will try to uh, rein in as many Italians as possible. Uh, no, I don't want an alliance. I think I'm not going to war until I have my next um, 
reform. Because otherwise we will be at war too long again. So let's uh, do a bit of peacetime then, I guess. Let's uh, try to make as much money as we can. Maybe uh, upgrade the gold mine again. Let's get our marriages again. You. And the Palatinate. We still need to get our alliance. That is going to be four more years. But yeah, we did not have enough relations with, uh, with Hungary that we could uh, keep them with the death of our emperor. Which is a pity. So we have to go after them um, when the truce is over. But that's fine. We can raise the stability, but hey, we have all our um, all our estate modifiers, so we have to spend a lot of admin points to get to stability one. What you can do is remove them. And then get them back again. That's a possibility. Uh, come back. No. Let's have a look. Bohemia is pretty happy with me. Bo Cologne, Palatinate and Saxony as well. We don't need more. We have a free slot actually at the moment. Interesting. Let's just try to get you as high as possible. Uh, we still have a mission to get... Uh, what was it? The balance of power. Any ally is a great power. Maybe we should get a great power now. I am thinking about... Well, maybe England. Or Castile. Castile doesn't want that one. Castile might be easier than England, but maybe we should just ally England for now. There we go. Against uh, France, so we can complete this mission. What do we get? That's fine. Now we have the spread the von Habsburgs. One of the following must be true. At least four countries, excluding Austria. Opinion is 120. Wait, what? The von, we need to spread the von Habsburgs. Yeah, we have the von Habsburgs on Bohemia, of course. And we had them on Hungary. And we will try to install them again over there. So we need to spread our dynasty to two more countries. We had the PU uh, CB here, but that's too late now. Well, let's try to get the von Habsburgs uh, here on the English throne, I guess. Yeah. Could happen. Of course we have Poland that will become a PU, so we have three here. Bohemia, Hungary and Poland. We will see. How much is the, are the loans? Yeah, the loans are pretty expensive. And Danzig happened over here. Yep. Unlawful territory. Give it back. Volga, Wolf, Volgast uh, took everything here. Bismar, Rostock, Neubrandenburg. Bismar. We have to release Mecklenburg back on the map. Uh, noble rebels, we don't have to deal with those. Are these... Oh, these are pretender rebels. Um, well, we don't care because we don't have a union right now. Aragon pieced out with Naples. Naples took back his land in, Sic in Sicily. Are you still at war? Yes, you are. I would love to have you added to the Empire, because this is costing me Imperial Authority. Maybe the Teutonic Order will join as well now. Oh no, they can't. They have no connection here. Uh, you will also not join, I think. 
Because you're a vassal of Poland. So that's all gonna not gonna happen, I think, unfortunately. Mulhouse insulted us. Why would they do that? Are they going crazy? Oh. Money, unrest, and the nobility gains a little bit of land. Or not. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We have a new empress. We can revoke this in ten in five years. And yeah, we are still trying to revoke the monopoly here on uh, livestock. And that will happen soon when the loyalty is high enough. We still want to seize more land. Uh, Death Martian did also something bad. Death Martian took all of this. Release a prince. Thank you. I can make them unhappy by doing this, but it's fine that he took this land. It's not not a big deal. Now let's repay the loans that we can. Uh, 42 Imperial Authority, yes. Oh! And we suddenly have 53, so something happened. I don't know what happened. We now suddenly have 53. Did, did someone join? Did Bosnia join? Can I see this in the log? What happened? I don't know. I don't know how we get these points out of nowhere. I don't know what happens. I don't see any uh, information, but I don't know. We're going to get the next uh, reform. There we go. And now we can go after Italy. We're still losing money. Like crazy. There we go. The Emperor has until 1490 to reign in as many Italian nations as possible. So we just need to try to ally all these countries. Or have high relations. I th maybe high relations is also good. Let's test this out actually. Um, Pope, are you going to integrate your vessel soon? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's just increase relations with Genoa. Oh, you're pretty unhappy with me. Uh, with Florence. What happens if I get over 100 relations? Well, that may be enough. Yeah, we are just losing money. Our army maintenance is skyrocketing. Reinforcements 2.5. Yeah, then it's over. I think it's time to declare war. You are still tech 4. We are also tech 4. Yeah, let's uh, enable our forge for one tick. Let's wait one more tick so we have full morale here. And then we go for it. I mean, we should just start uh, improving relations with anyone that is over here. Okay, we have a new heir, a 253. Very nice heir. So we can f we can become emperor again. People are voting for us uh, since we have an heir. Otherwise, they cannot vote for you. And yeah, let's uh, start declaring the war here. We could do the... Oh, they, 
their allies are not gonna go and help. Are they not um, excommunicated anymore? Apparently not. Who is the papal controller? Why are you not uh, excommunicating Venice? Come on. They were excommunicated before, and they should be excommunicated right now. But I guess that's not gonna help. No one is helping Venice, that is amazing. Go in over there. Half of your army go there, half of your army go there. Do you have any big alliances? Oh, and of course, Hungary is allied with France. Of course, to ruin this game even more. I'm already triggered, guys. Why are we losing so many men? We are rolling the worst numbers possible the whole, the whole time. Now I should try to get an alliance with Castile as well, because we need to fight France. If we want Hungary back. Oh! And we have another imperial incident, the, the Burgundian succession happened. Where among the possible options they went with, let us integrate with the French. <gasps> we have a new incident. Demand lowland independence. Demand that the lowlands be released as princes of the HRE. Everyone likes this option. Declare war Burgundy with a restoration of Union CB. Abandon the claims. Hmm. So we could personal Union Burgundy. And then we fight France. I don't know what will happen. Let's try this one. We might have to uh, fight France actually. Oh god. We need to peace out, out of this war right now. <laughs> we might fight France and Burgundy. I don't know. Oh, what a weird game. <sighs> what a weird game. Why are all these things happening when I am recording? I don't understand. What did the Palatinate do? Did you kill mines? You cannot kill mines. Now you do have some separatists in France, so that's good. Profiteering and leans. Right. So, do I just get a CB? We will declare war on him.
Will I then also fight Hungary? I don't know. We can also make the Lowlands princes and not go to war. But the personal union is better. Maybe we should just make them independent. I don't think we can fight France in Burgundy. Let's just demand that the uh, the miners in the lowlands will become free. We will come back for them. If our fatal swarm later on, I guess. So we had two incidents already. Shadow Kingdom and Burgundy. A cabinet dynamim dynamism. What? Thank you. Yeah, we could call in some allies. Yeah, the Teutonic Order is getting destroyed. Ah, we can uh, stop the monopoly here and go away. And I think I want to keep these ones. Yeah. So I will try to get the uh, the plus one military point, but we need to seize more land first before we can do that. I also want to get rid of all the other monopolies since they are costing us money. Now should I just try to become paper controller? I mean, ninety eight. Yeah, let's increase our chance a little bit. The siege of over here is taking a long time. And of course, Venice got his uh, siege done already. I wonder if we're gonna see this get free. Maybe, maybe France is refusing or something. And then we have a problem. But yeah, this is how the Burgundian inheritance works now. It, it works with an uh, incident. I cannot declare war on Burgundy. Release the princess! So Milan is at 100. Is that 100 relations enough to get him out of this list? 100 is enough. Yep. Yeah. If we can get 100 relations with all these people here, we can prevent the Shadow Kingdom. So you just need 100 relations. When is this incident over? One week. In one week we see the result, guys. There we go. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Demand lowland independence. Yes, and now? Ah! There we go, guys. Welcome to the Lowlands with Holland, Brabant, Flanders, Haino, Liège, Luxembourg, and Provence. Burgundy is having a problem. And we are having tons more influence. We have 0 0.41 now. And you just saw that Flanders also wanted to join. And he did. So also Flanders is now part of the Holy Roman Empire. This is amazing. 
We get tons of influence now. Uh, Hoom has been added by Herzegovina. Lorraine is excommunicated. So Herzegovina is trying to join. Oh, he cannot join because he does not have re enough relations with me. I think he's going to improve this number. Yeah, he's trying to get this to 100. And then he hopes he has enough influence so he can join me. Now, sometimes they cannot. But then you can do an alliance and then they can join the empire. We have a big empire. It's looking really good. Provence will join. Lorraine is a vessel of... Provence and they will also join. Yeah, if Provence joins the Empire, we are golden. We can go through these reforms super quick. Zurigo. Never heard of that one. Oh, Milan took it. Yeah, from... Uh, from Switzerland. Let's uh, let's give Zurich back to Switzerland. Come on, you cannot take all of Switzerland. Oh, they don't like that. I guess I'm gonna get an alliance with uh, with Milan over here. I like that we have all these princes. Hey, free stability. That's just what we needed. Nice. Can I demand land from you? Not anymore. Then I'm not going to do it. I won't, don't want to piss you off that much. You still need that alliance back with the Palatinate. You can do that in two years. Okay, Venice is going to destroy the army of Bohemia. Good for them. Let's try to reign in Italy. Saluzzo. Also part of that region. It's just us versus uh, Venice, so we should not have too many trouble. But yeah, we are gonna attack Hungary at some point, and France. It's going to be interesting. Poland wants an alliance. I think I'm going to take that alliance. For the time being. Because we need it against uh, France and Hungary. But we need to be at peace for that one. Let's uh, just keep improving relations for a while. Come on, siege down the fort already. I cannot take I cannot make generals the whole time. I mean it's too much points. Well we do have enough army tradition to uh, take the what is it? The general cost down. Well I guess I'm gonna take it uh, this option here. Oh no, we need to get rid of the agenda pursuance, so we have to remove that one first. And then we take you, and then we want the, the military point here. Yeah. So no more uh, forced agendas from now on. No, don't attack please. Yeah, you got the 1k here. Oh, we have three Cardinals already. Steiermark, Graz and Vienna. That's really nice. There we go. We get another 10% Imperial Authority. Now we make 0.35, okay. We have 84 member states in the empire. 84. <laughs> that is ridiculous.
You're gonna siege down Vienna? Okay, then I'm gonna siege down this thing. The siege is not going anywhere. Could call in allies, not gonna do it. Okay, Ferrara is at 121. Are you out of the list? No. So you're not out of the list with 121. Interesting. Why is Milan not here? I don't understand. Don't understand the mechanic yet. I can tell you that. Now what we want to take from you is... I guess this. This one as well. No, we can only take three provinces. Otherwise it becomes too expensive. And then we do another war. And I guess you have a lot of money, don't you? Yeah, we will take the money we need it. We need it. AI is of course we're very lucky with uh, the sieges in Vienna. Ugh. Now, can you reach this one? Not really. Let's get an army together to fight the Venetian army. Or something. Are you out of the list? You are. Genoa is not out of the list. We are working on him. Mantua. Here. I don't know why some are out going out of the list and some are not going out of the list. I have no idea. You don't have any a commander, that's good. I will attack you. What is your military technology for? We have four as well. Ah, he's gonna escape. Yeah, we will not get the river crossing. We have higher maneuver. So we will not... Any... Yeah, we have so much more morale and stuff that we are gonna easily defeat... The Venetians here. Uh, come back then. Improve with Luca. That's going to be the end for this episode guys. It's been a long episode again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos. And I hope to see you in the next part. Where we will try to uh, take land from Venice. And then prepare for the uh, unification against Hungary again. I hope to see you in the next part. Bye bye.